Hey, what up everybody? This is Theater Breach coming to you. One of the worst kept secrets in all of the WWE. It seems that the uh, Royal Rumble will be returning to the city of Philadelphia. And uh, it has finally been announced. And, and, and uh, I'm not sure if tickets have gone on sale yet. But uh, it seems that uh, Philadelphia is going to be the home of the Rumble. I know that my buddy Freaking Yeah 88 as well as the Salt and Battery 777 have been planning trips to Philadelphia for the Rumble for a good little while. I think the Boston Brothers, Christian Kirkland, it's going to be a good little click, greet up, and meet up uh, before and during after the show. I'm sure they're going to have a ton of fun out there in Philly, uh, seeing everything there is to be doing it. But the one thing that has been confirmed for this year's Rumble already is they will be bringing back the 40-man Royal Rumble. If you remember back to the Royal Rumble that was held, uh, was that in Boston? 2012, that would be the, the Rumble that Alberto Del Rio won. Uh, they expanded the Rumble for one year to 40 people. And uh, at first, honestly, I thought that you know, they shouldn't be messing with tradition. It's always been 30. It should always be 30. Um, but the 40-man Rumble seemed to be really fun. And the match seemed to last for a real, real long time. Of course, that would be the uh, Royal Rumble where we had the returns of Kevin Nash and Booker T uh, coming back from uh, their, their time in TNA. Uh, Booker T would be going on to become the announcer there for uh, SmackDown and Monday Night Raw. And now it just seems that he's just on the roster on the pre-show uh, doing a lot of appearances and things like that. And uh, Kevin Nash... Uh, has just sort of been a part of the WWE family. They, they call him up when they need him. Of course, everybody can remember the run um, in uh, that he had with uh, CM Punk in 2011, and, um, and Triple H at the TLC, and uh, I think that's the last time he's been in a match after that. But, uh, man, he got a huge pop that night, and that was a really, really big thing. That's one of the real big things, uh, reasons I think that expanding to 40 people could be a really big thing. Of course, everybody knows that last year at the Rumble, Rusev uh, made his WWE, uh, I guess, real debut coming up from NXT, and he was a real force uh, in the uh, in the Royal Rumble itself. There was a lot of talk about, you know, um, what these guys would be doing. They, they would always be brought up when there was something for him. He didn't have Lana with him yet, but uh, I can't remember him dumping a lot of people out of the Rumble, eliminating people, but I think that he was in it for a good, substantial amount of time before finally being eliminated. And... Um, he got his career started off the right way, even though it was a long time before he finally came back to WWE, uh, and, you know, after uh, after that one Rumble appearance, uh, and then finally getting into his first match. But, uh, you know, I think the big question about this year's Royal Rumble is who's going to be the winner, who's going to be going on to WrestleMania. Lots of talk about maybe Rock versus Brock, uh, Roman Reigns uh, versus Brock. You know, who's going to be fighting Brock Lesnar? Of course, you got to throw Daniel Bryan into there, the big hero from WrestleMania 30. So even though we have these questions answered about this upcoming, you know, Royal Rumble, about where it's going to be and how many people are going to be in it, now the, the thoughts are going to be, you know, as well as having the NXT people in there from Sami Zayn uh, to uh, um, other guys like that. Who else is going to be, uh, you know, adding to this? You know, what legends might be returning? Everybody always stirring the pot with the Kurt Angle return, you know, saying he's not going to be able to wrestle until January. Uh, so lots of returns could be coming, lots of debuts uh, from NXT guys, and uh, somebody's going to get that shot for WrestleMania, and that's the only way to get the main event slot, unless you're The Rock. And uh, so um, we'll have to see. Peace out, everybody.